Hey everyone, hope you guys are all doing good. Today I'm sitting down and I'm gonna be sharing with you my favorite devotionals slash inspirational books. Now if you guys are new to my channel, my name is Jamie, welcome. I upload videos relating to motherhood, lifestyle, and beauty, and I would love to get to know you as a subscriber. So click the subscribe button down below if you'd like to see more videos from me. And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up if you like what you see. So you guys have all been asking me for this video, so I definitely wanted to get it filmed. It's like, mmm. 10 o'clock at night right now. My husband's upstairs doing homework and my kids are sleeping. I got my lights out. I'm trying to make this work because I've got three kids, three and under. So jumping in, this first book is The Christian Homemaker's Handbook. And I have shared this book a few times, I think, on my channel before, but this is by Pat Ennis and Dorothy Kelly Patterson. And I love this book because I feel like it's really taught me a lot about embracing my role as a homemaker. I feel like for so long, I just looked at myself as a at home mom or a wife and I didn't really embrace the idea that I really make the home it's my job to really set the tone for our house and to really bring peace in our house and just to make it a good environment moving on this next book is a book that I've also mentioned and this is desperate hope for the mom who needs to breathe by Sarah May and Sally Clarkson and I really like this book because I feel like it's very relatable it's one of those books where you sit down and you read it and you're like oh thank you for making me not feel like I'm the only one. It's really encouraging if you feel like you're in the trenches of motherhood, like you're so overwhelmed, you're just trying to find joy, and you just need some encouragement and some inspiration. My friend Lydia, who also has a channel here on YouTube, she sent me this when I was in the trenches of motherhood. I feel like I'm still in the trenches of motherhood. But it was definitely an encouragement, um, so I would definitely recommend that. The next book that I have for you guys is Loving Our Kids on Purpose, Making a Heart-to-Heart -heart Connection, and this is by Danny Silk. I love this book because it really really is a parenting book, but it's kind of a parenting book that's outside of the box. It's not a how-to book. It's not like follow these steps and your kids are going to be perfect. It's more of a heart check for you as a mom, really understanding your children, really making that connection with them. Moving on, this is another mom devotional, and this is Treasuring Christ When Your Hands Are Full, and this is by Gloria Furman. This is honestly, oh gosh, they're all my favorites, but this is really, really, really one of my favorite books. I love this book. I feel like if I just get little bits and pieces of this book throughout my week, it just settles my soul and gives me a lot more peace and just calming, and I just, I love it. I love Gloria Furman. I can't say enough about it. The chapters in this book are really easy to read, and you can read sections out of the chapters, but the book itself, you know, is not a really long read at all. It's just, it's such a good book, and oh, I just love this book. This next book I've actually just started reading and I am already in love with it. And it is Simply Tuesday, Small Moment Living in a Fast Moving World by Emily P. Freeman. And this was sent to me by my friend Anna who is also here on YouTube. God has blessed me with so many awesome relationships via social media and YouTube. So thank you, Jesus. Hi, Anna. I love you. <laughs> This book has been speaking to me lately simply because it really is a call to quiet your heart, quiet your mind in the midst of like the crazy, busy lives that we live. Like we live in such a fast paced society and this book is such an encouragement just to stop and embrace the everyday. This next book is called Bible Promises for Mothers, and this was given to me by my good friend Sarah when I was pregnant with Jude. And I really love this one because it's all promises for us as moms. But it's super, super encouraging. And if you go through the book, it starts, it goes from A all the way to Z. I don't even know if there's a Z in here. No, it goes from A all the way to W, I guess. But you get the point. It goes through like abandonment, abuse, acceptance, and then, you know, it goes down to, like, provision, purpose, relationships, and these are all promises that are in the Bible specifically for us as followers. So it's just encouragement. Like, if you're feeling these specific topics, you can just go to this for direct encouragement relating to these issues. And there's also journaling pages in between these topics where you can go and you can write down certain things that you're feeling or maybe certain prayers that you have. This next book is Hands-Free Mama, a guide to putting down the phone, burning the to-do list, and letting go of perfection to grasp what really matters by Rachel Macy Stafford. And it's funny because this is hands-free mama guide to putting down the phone. However, I have it on my Kindle app on my phone. It's all about putting down the distractions and focusing on what really matters. I don't know if it's just me, 
but lately I have been like so almost addicted to social media and my cell phone and distractions and you know even just finding things around the house that need to be cleaned and it's like I'm constantly trying to play catch up and my kids and my family are the ones that suffer. So I got this book a while ago and I never read it and I just now started reading it and oh my gosh. It is so good, you guys. Like seriously, this book is amazing. So if you are in the same position and you need something that's really gonna challenge you and really gonna just bring you back to what really matters, then this is the book for you. Hands Free Mama, Rachel Maisie Stafford. Go get it, you're welcome, you'll love it. And um, that's all I gotta say. The last book that I have is a book that you might already know of and it's called Seven, An Experimental Mutiny Against Excess and this is by Jen Hatmaker. This book is so good if you are trying to really simplify your life. The thing that's cool about this is Jen Hatmaker, who I absolutely adore, she wrote this book and she basically like journaled and went through the process of these seven different areas of her life that she got rid of access whether it's clothing, whether it's you know stuff in her house that she didn't need, whether it's all this extra food that they buy all the time. And it's really encouraging and it's really thought provoking. So if you like books like that, I would definitely recommend Seven. And this is the kind of book where you're constantly remembering things that you read in it, or you'll see something and it'll bring you back to something that you read. So it's a really good life-changing book. Yeah. All right guys, you made it through. Those are my favorite devotionals slash inspirational encouraging books that I have been reading lately or that I have read. If you guys have any books that you have read that you absolutely know that I need to read, comment down below because I always am looking for inspirational stuff to fill my heart with. I'm sure everyone else wants to read them and get ideas as well. Once again, if you're not subscribed, please do so. If you like videos like this, give it a thumbs up. I'm so glad to see you guys and um, you guys are just such a blessing to my life and to my heart. I hope you guys are all blessed and I will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye.